Today we're learning to solve problems using simultaneous equations. I've got three examples for you. We'll just go through them reasonably quickly. This first one here from the TJ National 5 book. I just thought I would go through this one with you to, um, to talk through uh, a simple example that we've got for solving problems using simultaneous equations. Right, so what we've got here is a bit small to see, but I'll just uh, read that out for you. So we've got Bob who bought uh, five balls and two teddies and it cost him £11. I've got Jill over here that paid £9 for three balls and two teddies. Sometimes you get a picture with uh, this type of question. Sometimes it's just worded and you have to create your own equations based on that. Now the question that we're trying to solve here is how much does it cost for a ball? And how much does it cost for a teddy? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by uh, uh, working out the uh, equations for both of these things. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is what Bob bought. So he bought five balls. So I'm just going to go for 5B, which is the balls, uh, plus the two teddies, plus two teddies. And that cost him £11. I'll just say that that's 11 So I'm working in pounds. Now what I'm going to do at the end, I'm going to make a statement that will clear up what a B is and what a T is. Okay. For the other equation that we've got over here, we've got Jill who paid £9 for three balls and two teddies. So three balls and two teddies. And that equaled £9. Okay, so, so there I've got two equations that will allow me to work simultaneously to work out what a ball costs and what a teddy costs. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll use the experience that we've had so far on solving simultaneous equations. Labeling them up, one and two. Um, good, I can see that the, the twos are kind of lined up there. I've got a positive two and a positive two, but remember the way that we're working, we're trying to get a positive and a negative. So I'm going to multiply equation number two by negative one, okay? And what that will give me is, so equation two times negative one, that's going to give me a negative three B. It's going to give me a minus two T. And it's going to give me a minus 9. And I'm going to rename that as equation number 3. Right, so I'm going to bring down equation number 1. Okay. Plus 2t equals 11. And that's still my equation number 1. I've not changed that one at all. Now what I'm going to do is just like we've been doing in our uh, previous uh, videos and examples on simultaneous equations. I'm going to add them. Okay. So I'm going to add equation 3 plus equation 1. So when I add these together I get 2b. I've eliminated the T's, which is the teddies, so I've only got the, the balls in this equation. And what I've got is a 2 that's uh, there with uh, 11 take away 9, or negative 9 plus 11 gives us 2. Divide both sides by 2. And what we should get out of that, we should get B is equal to 1. Okay? So I'm just going to write down at the bottom here, one ball costs... And that's going to be uh, one pound because we're working in pounds. Okay, one pound. Okay, right for the teddy, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute the b is equal to one into equation number one. So equation one started off with five uh, b plus two t equals eleven. So we're going to substitute a one in here. So that's five times one plus 2t equals 11. So I'm going to take 5 away from both sides because 5 times 1 is 5. And if I take 5 away from this side, I eliminate that from the left. And if I do something to the left-hand side of a, an equation, must do the same to the right. So I've got 2t is equal to 6 when I add these, when I uh, solve this one out here. And then all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. And that leaves me with t is equal to 3. Okay, so from there, I can see that uh, the teddy is equal to three pound. So one teddy costs three pounds. Okay, so there's, there's my solution that's there. One ball costs a pound, one teddy costs three pounds. Okay, so I'm just gonna double check that to make sure that works out in equation number two. So I'm doing a wee check just uh, before I leave the example. Check in equation two. And what we've got here is equation 2 starts off with 3b. And we've got plus 2t. And I want that to equal 9. 
So three times the ball, which is one pound, plus two times what a teddy cost, which was three pounds, and I want that to equal to nine. So what I've got there is three plus six equals nine. Great. Okay, so three plus six equals nine. So that's nine equals nine. So left-hand side equals right-hand side. And I know before I've left the hall, I've got that one right. Okay. Right, so key things here are making sure that... Uh, you make either a statement at the end that one ball costs uh, one pound, one teddy costs three pounds, or at the start, what you could say is that let B equal the number of balls or the cost for a ball and T equal the cost for a teddy. You could say that up front. Okay, right, so here we go for the second question. So no pictures on this one. All we're going to do is we're going to work out uh, the equations first of all. And then once we get the equations, we'll then uh, put them together solve them simultaneously. Right, example number two. Uh, Ken bought three packs of green paper and two packs of blue paper and found he had 1,200 sheets of paper. So if I'm going to write an equation for that, I'm going to use G and I'll use B, okay? So I've got, for my first equation, I've got 3G plus 2B is equal to 1,200. So that was 1,200 sheets. Right, so Chloe had... Uh, 2,300 sheets from four packs of green and five blue packs. So let's write that in. So it was four green and five blue. And what she had was 2,300. So there's two equations that I've made up just uh, from the, the wording that I've got here. This equation one, this one equation two. Right, so what I want to do is to get a positive and a negative, and I want the numbers to be the same, okay? So the, the values to be the same, I'm going to multiply the top equation by 5. So I'm multiplying equation number 1 by 5, and I'm going to multiply equation number 2 by the 2 that's there. So I'm multiplying that by the 2. So remember, all we're doing is we're just taking whatever that number is that's there, and we're multiplying the top equation by that. We're finding out what uh, this, this number is here. And we're multiplying the bottom equation by that one. Okay, just swapping it around. Right, so what I said was equation 1 times 5 will be the first thing. Okay, and uh, remember I've still got to make sure that I've got a negative sign in one of them. If I multiply by 5 and I multiply by 2, then they're still going to be positives. So what I want to do is make one of these a negative. I'm going to make the second one a negative. So that's going to be a negative 2 that appears there. Okay, so 1 times 5, that will give me 15G. And that's going to be plus 10B is equal to, and if I multiply this by 5, what we'll get is we'll get 0, 0. And if I multiply 12 by 5, I get 60. So that'll be 6,000 that appears there. So that there is my equation number 3. Okay, what I'm then going to do with equation 2, I'm going to multiply that by the negative 2. Okay, reason for that again, so I can eliminate the uh, one of the, uh, the, um, the variables that are here. So negative 2 times the 4 gives me negative 8g. Negative 2 times 5 will give me a negative 10b. And there we go. We're getting eliminating these ones. That's what the plan was. And then what I've got is I've got negative 2 times 2300. Zero, zero. I'm just going to double all of that and make it a negative. So that's going to be 4600. Zero, zero. And that there is my equation 4. So I've had to change both equations in this uh, simple question here to find out uh, what I need to get. Right then, so the reason for doing that, remember, is so that I'm always adding when I'm doing simultaneous equations. So let's go for adding 3 plus 4. So we're just going to add them together. So adding that, that will give me 7g. If I uh, add these together, they eliminate. And what I've got left here, when I add 6,000 and uh, minus 4,600, that will leave me with 1,400. Zero, zero. Numbers looking pretty good on the 7 times table. So I'll divide by 7 on the left, divide by 7 on the right. Okay, that eliminates that, leaves me with G is equal to 7 into 1,400. Well, that will give me 200. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to work out the B value as well. So I'm going to substitute uh, G is equal to 200 into equation number one. Okay. So when I put that into equation number one, I've got uh, 3G plus 2B is equal to 1200. 
I'm going to put a 200 in here, so that's going to be 3 times 200, plus 2b equals 1200. That's going to be 600 that's here, plus 2b equals 1200. So if I take 600 away from each side of the equals, take 600 away, what I'm left with is 2b is equal to 600. Dividing by 2 eliminates that there. Dividing by 2 on that side will leave me with b equal to 300. Okay, so there I've got g is 200, b is 300, but in context of the question, I need to write down what my solution is going to be. Okay, so my solution is, so three packs of green paper, two packs of blue, so it's green and blue paper, right? So uh, green paper, the sheets, how many sheets were in each pack? So there were, there were, let's see, 200 sheets in each green pack and 300 sheets in each blue pack. Okay, just a statement at the end, just clarifying what we've actually done. Okay, so I could do a double check and just make sure that that works out correctly. And uh, if I do it kind of mentally, yep, that works out quite well for us. That's going to be 800 yeah, plus 1500. Yeah, that comes to 2300. Yeah, so I know that I've got that right before I leave the exam hall. Last question, okay? Right. What we've got here is question asking us, uh, we're going into a cafe, Rona buys three coffees, two teas, £4.30 it costs. Quite often this type of question is to do with money. Uh, Kim spends £4.20 on two coffees and three teas. And then we've got to be really careful what the question's asking us to do. We're going to calculate how much Mark paid in total for four coffees and one tea. Okay, so it's quite key recognizing that this is a simultaneous equations question. What we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to forget about uh, what Mark's been doing and we're going to find out how much one coffee is and how much one tea is using simultaneous equations. So Rona bought three coffees, so 3C uh, plus two teas, and that equaled £4.30, 4.30. Kim spent uh, 4 20 on two coffees. And she got three T's. And that's going to be 420. Okay, so equation one, equation two. Same way, we're just going to work it through. Sometimes you have a calculator to work these through because it might be in your calculator paper. But we'll just work it through as uh, as we go here. So we've not got any neg a negative and a positive. So we need to multiply by a negative number somewhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. I'm just going to use these two numbers to try and get rid of the uh, T variable. So I'm going to multiply the top by the 3 that's here. And the 2 that's there, I'm multiplying at the bottom. But remember what I said, I'm going to have to multiply one of them by a negative to get a negative number. Right, so equation number 1 times 3. And what we'll get for that is 9C plus 6T is equal to, so 3 times that is going to give me 0, give me a 9, and it'll give me a 12. Okay, so £12.90 for the, the top equation changed into my reference equation 3. For equation 2, what we're saying is we're multiplying that by negative 2. So that'll give me a negative 4c, and I'm multiplying that there, so that'll give me minus 6t. And the reason why we were doing that is to eliminate the t variable. And then negative 2 times £4.20 must take me to £8.40. And it's a negative, though, remember, so it's negative £8.40 that's there. I'm going to reference that as my equation 4. On the left-hand side, I'm going to give my instruction. I'm going to add them together, OK? I can add them, and what will happen is we'll eliminate here, OK? So adding these together, 9C plus a negative 4C, that'll take me to 5C. These get eliminated. And what I've got left over on this side here will be £4.50. and pence. I'm going to then divide by 5 on both sides. And what that should give me is an elimination there, and that will be 0 0.90. Remember, we're working in pounds, so that's like 90 pence. But uh, I'll, I'll clarify that when I make my final statement. 
Okay, but uh, I'll just go for it here actually. So, so a coffee costs, and I'm going to just leave it in pounds at the moment instead of converting it into pence. Right then, so now what we want to do is to find out how much T costs. So we'll substitute C equals 0 0.90 into equation number one. Okay, so into equation one starts off with 3C plus 2T equals £4.30, or 4.30. I'll then take the 90 and put it into here. So it's a 0 0.90 that we're working with. All I'm doing is just working through the, the mechanics of the numbers here. So 3 times uh, uh, 0 0.90, or 3 times 90 pence, is £2.70. What I'll do is I'll subtract 270 from each side. And what that leaves me with eliminates that part, leaves me with 2t is equal to, and that's going to be 160, isn't it? £1.60. So t, when I divide both sides by 2, that'll tell me that a t is going to be equal to a pence. So I'll just write that down just at the bottom here as well. So a t costs, there we go, so it's, uh, and that's that. Right, so I'm going to go back up to the question, just have a look and see what it was asking me to do. So remember, always be careful and just go back and look at the question, see what it's asking you to do. First thing here, I can see it's uh, Mark paid in total, how, that's what we're trying to work out, how much he paid in total for four coffees and one tea. So let's see. So let's go for four coffees. So four coffees plus one tea. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out what that is. So four coffees. So four times 0 0.90 plus one times 0 0.80. So that's going to give me £3.60 there plus an 80 pence. So that's going to give me 4 40 Okay. So I'm just going to finish off by saying... Mark paid a total of £4.40 for four coffees and one tea. Finished, OK? So that would be that. And uh, I can just do my double check again by substituting back into the equation and making sure it works, just uh, to make sure I'm OK before I leave the exam hall. And uh, I will know that I've got that correct. Anyway, three quick examples showing you a very simple one with the teddy bears and the, the balls. Um, one a wee bit more difficult with the, the numbers, the numbers getting a bit bigger. And this one here, working with money. And that's quite a common one that you'll find within your exam. And um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll now go on to some of the uh, self-study work and we'll work on some of these questions and make sure that we're, uh, we're kind of hitting this properly. Right, so... Thanks a lot for, for this video. This should be the end of this one. We'll be moving on to exam questions next.